Okay, we're here for another Not In Class interview. We are here with the 2010 SGA campaign Fuse. Ooh. <laughs> you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah, definitely. My name is Tommy Juris. I'm a junior from Franklin, Tennessee, and I'm running for Fuse president. Hey guys, I'm Angie Sessoms. I'm a junior from Fayetteville, Tennessee, and I'm running for vice president. Hey everybody, my name is Avery Howard. I'm a junior from Huntington, Tennessee, and I'm running for student services director. Hey everyone, my name is Ross Rowland from the small town of Winchester, Tennessee. I'm running for the Board of Trustees nominee for the FUSE campaign. Well, could you tell us just a little bit about FUSE, what FUSE is all about? Well, I'm not sure if you're familiar with campaigns in the past, but typically it's three people. Uh, this time it's actually four. Uh, I'm running for the Board of Trustees nominee, which uh, rotates between every UT system school every four years. And uh, that the Board of Trustees actually you know, decide everything from policies to tuition to any, any kind of things that the University of Tennessee system would adopt and it's a two-year uh, position for every student and uh, I really want to utilize this position to try to insta uh, to um, empower the student body and the student voice and one way I really want to do that is by uh, working with the Board of Trustees and also local legislators to try to institute a system where we can utilize our Hope Lottery scholarships for the summer. Now I really think that will help us students graduate much quicker and also allow us to uh, utilize those monies and resources on the, we're using on those students to uh, empower us and grow us as a university. And like Ross said, we want to give as much to the students as possible, but we also want to move SGA forward. I mean, right now, the current Constitution has been touched in 13 years, and we think that is a huge problem. I was six years old when this Constitution we're running on right now was May. Um, also, currently, senators do do a lot for the university. Right now, they don't do enough, we feel like. We feel like they need to be held a lot more accountable. They represent all of us, every single student on campus, even graduate students, on a residence life and academic life. And if they're not being held accountable for what they do, how are they representing us as students? And lastly, the thing I think we think is most important is, is send out a monthly email to the entire student body. Right now, there's so many things happening on campus, so much that when you read the student at Tennessee emails that come out every Monday, by the time you have, get halfway through it, you don't want to read it anymore. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to send out some short little snippets mm -hmm. throughout to the entire student body to let you guys know what's going on, keep you guys out of the dark, get you guys back in the loop with campus. Also, we must uh, establish a student allocation fund, and this is a pretty neat idea that we got going. I actually didn't go on spring break talking to the deans about it. But um, what it is, say, any organization on campus, any student organization you're involved with from anything small, large, in between. Um, we see it as a way for organizations to come to SGA, apply for funding, and if approved, get this funding immediately. Times are tough right now. We all feel it. Mm -hmm. But um, we see this as a way because as SGA, we're supposed to better the student body. And by bettering the student body, we're getting more involved with them. And this allocation fund allows us to do that. In addition to those issues, we also have some plans to upgrade your daily campus life. One of those neat plans includes implementing a system where your vol card could actually work like a debit card off campus. Um, the University of Alabama currently has this system and we think it would be pretty cool here too. Um, we also want to bring more recycling bins outdoors. We know they're pretty prevalent in the buildings now, but we need more outside. And we're going to continue our efforts to bring the free bicycle rental system to campus. So on a nice day like it is today, uh, you can go out, rent a bike completely free and return it. And we also want to take your daily life, like Angie talked about, and sync that with your academic life as well. And what we plan on doing is by implementing UT's own Craigslist. And this will be an online system where y'all can go and look for subleasing for apartments, books for your classes, and even tutoring as well. And I know right now you all can go down to the first floor of the UC and look for all this information on the wall. But it's like I said, it'll be an online system, making it more convenient for you as students, because you can go at any time. And then also we want to implement an online syllabus <coughs> database. This will be a system where you all can go and see what your professor's classes will be like actually before you get into classes. So I know right now you pretty much know the books you need and also the course load, but you have the same advantage actually before you get into the course. So making it much easier for you as a student. Now keep in mind this is just a quick breakdown of our policy. If you want to uh, see our full policy breakdown, uh, see how everything that we want to accomplish as a as a campaign, uh, if elected, please I'm going to do a quick plug. Check out our Facebook group, Fuse UT. Um, and uh, just type that in on the search bar and I'm sure you'll find it have a full policy breakdown. Mm -hmm. If you join that group, you'll actually get notified of uh, different events that we'll be having when we'll be uh, handing out free t-shirts and free food and also uh, when, when voting days are, so check that out. And also, like Ross said, this is just not our campaign. It is the entire student's campaign. Our goal is to get more people involved than ever. We want our Facebook group to be 27,000 people. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us, fuseut at gmail.com. That's F-U-S-E, not like the little free train. <laughs> but um, definitely, and come out uh, Sunday, HSS, 123, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We'll have a bunch of free pizzas, and you can get your first, be the first ones to get your uh, red and yellow t-shirts. So, yeah.
Um, just for all of us who might want to know, I understand you all have SGA experience, so mm -hmm. could you all just tell us what your experience is with SGA in the past? Definitely. Well, uh, since my freshman year, I got involved in freshman mm -hmm. council. It's 40 freshmen are selected out of the freshman class, and it was a great opportunity for me to get involved, and that's when I initially fell in love with SGA. Mm -hmm. um, it means so much to me, and the reason why I'm running this year is because I want everybody else to experience what I've experienced through it. Um, that was my freshman year. My sophomore year, I got involved. I was on a, a campaign my freshman year, and the next year it allowed me to be on a student services committee. It was new student relations. We actually produced all the new student pamphlets that are in each of the dorms now, and I guess back then too. <laughs> but um, we produced those. We were the first ones to do that, and it was a great experience for me because it actually gets you out in Knoxville, you know, promoting the parks, promoting the businesses, promoting everything local. Being from out of state, being from different areas, you don't know what all of Knoxville has to offer. And I guess that was my next stepping stone to get to um, involved in another campaign my sophomore year. And after that, um, I was appointed in an exec position, city of Oxford liaison. I work directly with the mayor, kind of UT's connection to downtown. But um, by doing so, we've helped move that GPS tracking system to actually fruition. It actually just passed with the city, the budgeting for it, three weeks ago. So it didn't happen this year, but it will be definitely implemented this summer. They're actually in the beta version right now. I'm also on Senate right now as a business senator and involved with the campus beautification group. Yes. Um, my freshman year I got involved with the campaign and ran as a senator mm -hmm. and I was elected um, as a senator for the College of Arts and Sciences which I've served as a senator for um, that college for the past two years. Thoroughly enjoyed my time there. Mm -hmm. um, I've also served on two student services committees, um, first being the Traditions Committee with my buddy Avery <laughs> and this year serving on the Campus Beautification Committee. And like Angie, I also uh, got the privilege to serve on a campaign my freshman year. And um, I was elected for a senator as well for the um, Reese Hall. I was a senator for them for my sophomore year. And then I was also on the Traditions Committee. Um, and being on the Traditions Committee my sophomore year, I was on a campaign my sophomore year as well. And then I was uh, able to be appointed to the Traditions Committee director. So um, I have been a part of that committee for two years now. And I am also a senator for um, a commuter senator. So I've had a lot of uh, experience with the student services and doing traditions and it's a lot of fun doing that. Mm -hmm. Now much like Tommy I actually got involved uh, with uh, SGA very early on as a freshman <clears throat> and I was actually uh, selected to be on freshman council and was actually cho chosen by my peers to actually chair the freshman council. So I was freshman council chair last year as a freshman. Uh, fortunately with doing that I also got to serve on the executive board and also uh, was the senatorial representative for freshman council. Uh, after I got involved with campaigns because of my uh, freshman council experience last year, uh, I was elected as a volunteer hall senator and also was appointed to uh, both the Tennessee Higher Education Commission representative and also the, the Commissioner of Safety for, uh, for SGA Executive Council. So I've uh, got the good fortune of working in, uh, in all of all spectrums and all aspects of uh, student government. I'm currently also uh, serve on the Government Affairs Committee for Student Services. So I've had the, the neat fortune of being really involved and really have a hands-on experience with, with SGA. Ooh, you guys have a lot of experience. <laughs> um, in closing, if you could just name one thing that separates Fuse from other campaigns now, campaigns in the past, what would it be? Do you want one of us all to each answer, or how do you want us to do that? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, I want everybody to know, like I said, why I got involved with SGA. I got involved with a different organization my freshman year. My main thing that I want this whole campus to know is how much it has meant to me, how much it has been such an organization that involves everybody, that brings every aspect of campus together into this one thing, and it gets you to experience everything. The, the, the people I've met through SGA is unbelievable, and I want people, not only next year, but years to come, I want to set the basis that people can experience what I have experienced. I will never regret doing anything in SGA, no matter how anything turns out, I'm still, I'm so proud of the organization. I think what sets us apart is our diversity. Mm -hmm. We have tried to pull from every different aspect of campus. Mm -hmm. We have tried to seek out every single student organization we could get to, share with them our ideas, and try to get them on board with us to better the university in the end. Um, just to go along with what Andy said, us ourselves, you know, we pull from different parts of campus, being involved in many different organizations. Mm -hmm. So we have a basis there to talk to many different students and to get viewpoints from them and to see how they might want things to be changed on campus. So mm -hmm. our diversity, I feel like, is very, very great on our campaign. That's what might set us apart. I really, really enjoy and really have a lot of faith in the Fuse campaign because we are very representative of campus. Uh, we. Uh, we are very strong both in you know our senatorial positions and things like that. So we represent different constituent bodies, but also 
my position is a little different. I'm re I'll be representing uh, University of Tennessee at Knoxville and Nashville, uh, you know, on, on the state capitol and whatnot, and with on state boards. So I, I think we bring that experience and bring those uh, those issues that we know as students, and we're able and, and articulate enough to, to bring those issues to to the administration and know how to handle those issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you.